Welcome everyone. The first step to locate the iPhone backups on your Mac is I'll have this Apple support link in the description. And so these instructions are actually wrong. But what we need to do is we need to copy this directory right here. So highlight it and then we're going to copy like this. We will then open up the Finder app. And when we're in the Finder app, we're going to hold down the command key and we're holding down commands. We're going to hold down shift. So command and shift should be held down. And while those two, uh, two keys are held down, we're going to click and release G. And then you just paste that directory from the Apple website into here. And now you can see all of your backups. To make things easier to understand, we're going to click on this arrow. And then we're going to click on as list. And now you can see the date of the backup. And if you click on date modified, you can see it will filter by the oldest to newest backup. If you click on date modified again, you can now see the newest to oldest backup. So this string of numbers and letters is your unique device identifier. If we just double click on the backup, you can see all of the files. You won't be able to read any of these files, um, but if we double click this info.plist, right click, open with, and we want to open with a text editor. So just search for the text editor. If we can find a text editor. Do I have a text editor? I do. There we go. Just tap on T. I'm just typing in T until I see text edit. So if we open this one up, you can see the device information to see if this is the right backup or not. See the software, all that good stuff. If you're just here to delete backups, you know, you can delete them right here. But if you need to, you know, find certain data from the backup, you will need to use third party software like this EasyOS uh, mobile saver. So this is the link right here if I forget to put it in the description. So you have these free downloads to just see if it's working or not. And um, yeah, so once we have the free download and we've installed it, let's click on recover from iTunes backup. And we will need to grant full disk access. So it's going to bring us to the settings and we just turn on the ease us here in the settings we enter in our passcode and then we quit and reopen so now the ease us should reopen if it doesn't just open it up manually and so let's click on recover from itunes you can see all your backups here and you just select the backup start and then you can choose whatever you would like to recover. Uh, once this is done, it will show everything and you'll be able to export it to the computer. So you can see the photos. And if you have messages, you'll see messages here. But let's see, we have the calendar. You can see all my calendar events. So once you're ready, just click on what you want to move. Click on recover to PC. Now you can see we need to pay here, so you will need to pay to access these files. But if you you know you need them, then just recover to PC, pay for the uh, subscription or the lifetime if you need, and then you will have your photos or whatever you need exported back to your device. I would recommend though a free alternative is to just restore this backup to a phone, like a second phone if you want, and then you have all your photos and stuff there. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.